Hey everyone, this is John Dickinson from motionworks.net back with an update to the Cinema 4D to Rhizome UV to Substance Painter tutorial that I created recently. And I'm here in Rhizome UV. I'm just uh, finishing up, or I've just finished up unwrapping this Beretta pistol. And I've used UDIMS and I've got the texel density nice and even. And this is ready to save and take into Substance Painter. So let's do that. So here in Substance Painter, I'll choose File New and create texture set per UDIM tile. Just going to select the file, which is this one here, and just click OK. Just take a second to load. OK, so there's the gun looking good excited about texturing this, but take a look at the texture set. So we've only got one texture set and you can see all of the other UDIM tiles are sitting outside that single texture set. See over here in the texture list, I've got one material and this is just a an HP modeling tools um, checkerboard material I use in Cinema 4D. So obviously only having one material is going to give me only one single texture set. So this just goes back to Ryzen. That's the problem. Um, even though I've unwrapped this and got the texture density looking good, I've only got one material. So over in uh, Substance, I only have one texture set. Now, in my previous tutorial, I showed how to use multiple materials on the object, bring that across to Ryzen, and then distribute it, those uh, parts of your object based on the material to different UDIM tiles. And that's a successful way to do it. The big difference here is that in order to keep a reasonably high texel density, in this case it's 28, I needed to split the frame and the slide onto more than one UDIM tile. So the slide is these two here and the frame is these three here. And if I'm taking this across to Substance Painter, then obviously I need separate materials for all of these separate tiles. Otherwise, as we just saw, I'm not going to get separate texture sets for each tile. So back in Cinema 4D, what I've done is I've gone ahead and added materials to the object. And I've also added multi materials to the frame. I've added three materials there and I've added two materials to the slide. Now, rather than trying to guess which parts of the slide I used for which UDIM tile in Rhizome UV, what I've done is I've opened up that FBX that I saved from Rhizome UV back into Cinema, and I've created texture sets based on the UV islands. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the frame. So the first material here, frame one, is on the only uh, UDIM tile that we have, but if I click on 2, and here's material 2, and here's 3. So what I've done is selected the UVs, and then I've chosen select set selection, and I've added a material, you can see here frame 1 has a selection for frame one, frame two has selection frame two, and frame three has three. So there's one, two, and three. And I've done the same for the slide down here. So there's two materials, slide one and slide two. So now what I have to do is take this back into Rhizome UV and distribute these different materials two separate UDIM tiles. So I'll open that file by choosing load UV. Just save this one. And choose it here. Okay, so everything looks as expected. The only difference is that I now have materials on this object. So if I come down to multi-tile and just add my multi-tiles again, what I have to do now is distribute this back amongst these nine tiles, but based on the materials. I have everything set at a 
texel density of 28. And so far I haven't found a way of distributing and keeping the same texel density. There probably is a way because I've got specified texel density selected and I've also got the average of 28. So if I come up to select and choose show file data selection dialog, there's my materials now. So if I select each of those materials, you can see I've got three for frame and two for slide. And if I distribute those in tiles, it's going to redistribute these. Loading each separate material onto its own tile. Okay, so as I mentioned, it has changed the texel density slightly. I'm probably going to have to go in and just adjust that. And also change some of the um, rotations. If I just select that and just choose pick. See, that's now a texel density of 23, so it has modified them slightly. I still am getting used to Ryzen UV. There could be a way to lock that. I'm not sure. But it's not too difficult to basically select these and just set this to 28. Set. And then pack that again on this tile. So just choose the tile and pack. Doesn't quite fit. And like I said, I'm still getting used to the best workflow for this. Just put that one at the top. I probably want to go in and select um, various objects as well and group them together just to make it a little bit easier when I'm texturing because this, um, this particular tile is made up of a bunch of different parts of the gun. So there's a lot of automation that you can do inside Ryzen, and I'm still getting used to that. But there is a certain amount of manual stuff that you can do to really get the um, tiles looking really um, organized. Okay, so I'm going to save that just for now. i going to save as and call this Udims 2 Actually, set selections 02. And now I should be able to come back into substance. Make a new file, create texture set per UDIM tile. And once again, select 02. Open. Okay. Okay, so now I have a single tile and you can see I've lost all of my naming of my materials but I now have separate texture sets for each of the UDIM tiles and materials. So because Cinema 4D doesn't support UDIMs, so far this is the only way I've, I've worked out in Ryzen to unwrap with a UDIMs to give me a higher texel density and also be able to bring that across to um, Substance Painter and have each of the different UDIMs be a separate texture set. What would be really great is if I could break things up and distribute them into separate UDIMs in Rhizome UV and then add a material to those UDIM tiles in Rhizome, then I wouldn't have to bring it back across to Cinema 4D. Then I could just take that directly across to Substance Painter and have the corresponding texture sets. So, Ryzen, if you're listening, maybe um, have a think about that. I'll keep exploring, and if you know a better way to do it, then um, I'm all ears, and please leave a comment. But for now, this is John Dickinson from MotionWorks.net. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tutorial.